Hey everybody, welcome back to Smart Robots Review, the show that reviews robotics and other fantastic tech from around the world and out of this world. I'm your host Elias, and today we're looking at Sphero's new Kickstarter campaign for an exciting new robot called Rover. Stay with me, we're gonna preview it. Welcome to Smart Robots Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to Smart Robots Review. Yes, today we're looking at Rover. This is a exciting new robotic platform by Sphero, a company you know I have reviewed. If you're a fan of my show, then you know you're very familiar with these robots right here. R2-D2, R2-Q5. Of course, they make the Spark robots. Very similar to BB-8, right? Oh, did, there. <laughs> So, a, an experienced robotics company and um, an exciting new product. Uh, they're in a uh, crowdfunding phase right now uh, with about 12 days left. Uh, they have already exceeded their um, goal to raise $150,000. Okay, thank you, Alexa. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, when I saw this, I, I thought, um, why not share that experience with you guys? So here we are at the page. I'm going to take a closer look at the robot that they're talking about. Uh, the Kickstarter campaign has, like I said, 12 days to go. There's uh, <laughs> over 2,500 backers already. So let's uh, let's watch this video. See what. Uh, What's up, say. Kickstarter? We're really happy to see you. Oh, camera two? What's up, guys? <laughs> Sphero's mission is to inspire the freighters of tomorrow. Yeah, there you go, BB-8. We've been making robots for years, seven or eight years now, and we've learned a lot of cool lessons about how to make a robot and why to make a robot. Mr. Over the last eight years, we've been building robots for all sorts of different audiences. We've got tons of feedback from people, and so we finally decided we're going to build the robot for the people, and this is that robot. Rover is our latest programmable, customizable robot, that. and it's our most complete, most refined, and most capable robot ever. Rover is an out-of-the-box robotic platform, and it comes along with all this stuff just built in, things like driving and sensors that you can just start on immediately. But the thing that makes it special is it's super expandable. What's super unique Ooh. about Rover is we put in a U- Did you see that? Our expansion, expansion port, which, which opens, opens it up in a way- That's unique right there. ...data we've never made available before. Rover is Spiro's first platform that allows students and makers to be able to hardware. You guys remember, I I created a um, uh, one of my videos was about the smart robot car, right here. So this is a platform uh, that's been out there for a while. It's Arduino based, uh, but definitely a great platform to experiment with Arduino uh, technology um, and equipped with a lot of great sensors, ultrasonic, uh, LED uh, color recognizing. It's got Bluetooth. Um, so this, uh, this Sphero Rover seems to be in the same line of uh, kits. So let's, let's keep watching. If you've ever messed with a Raspberry Pi or an Arduino or a Microbit, you can put that onto Rover and make that project mobile. Rover works with our Sphero EDU app. You get the rich experience of our community and our EDU ecosystem. You don't have to assemble anything. You can start coding right away. You get a complete polished product and then you've got the ability to expand and build it oh, into anything you want. It's got all-terrain capabilities. Abilities. We've got high torque motors with a high gear ratio, which allows it to go fast, but also allows it to go really accurate at slow speeds. If something disrupts the treads, or if one track tread moves at a different speed than the other, it'll still go up. Traction control. Originally intended. 
which is something you need for tank to be. Love that. Driving experience is unlike anything you've ever seen before. We worked really diligently to make sure this gearbox Well, I certainly hope it's better than sure BBA because the driving experience of BBA is rough. Mulch or rocks. We have infrared communication that you can use to talk to other robots, other rovers, or even our bolts, so they can send oh, yeah. messages to each other. Play now that's what I'm talking about. Ambient. Look at that. So it's talking to these robots via infrared. So that's going to be interesting to see. Light sensor inside, so it can detect you know different light values and behave differently. Rover includes a 4,600 milliamp hour battery, rechargeable via USB-C. That's going to be heavy. First and foremost, for sure. a tool and you need to be able to swap out a battery and a tool. But I like that. There's a color sensor, which allows you to detect the color value that it's driving over and write programming based on what color it detects. It's got a full nine access IMU, so we've got gyro, accelerometer, magnetometer. This is the platform I've been waiting for. It has the accuracy, the precision, the durability, the SDK, the low latency communication. It has everything you need to actually accomplish your mission. You don't just move around, but go do something. Everything from the gear ratio to the clearance underneath to how very you nice presentation. How you interact with it has been thought through. We didn't just choose the cheapest. Seems option. like we they're the right thinking option. of everything we here. It to have personality and be approachable and draw people in. You know, there are a lot of competitor products that are really cool bots, but you have to do a ton of work to get it up and running. Or it's super easy to get up and running, but then yeah, it but it could be fun shoot. putting them together. I mean, it was fun building the smart robot here, the the smart car. But uh, I get your point, <laughs> for sure. What we're really trying to do is make something that right out of the gate you can get started, but you can kind of keep going with it for a long time. Rover is built for you guys. We want the hackers and the makers and the students out there to take it and make the coolest projects out there and help inspire us. Get, get a Rover. It's awesome. I am getting a Rover. Okay, okay. Uh, Probably Marketing probably it more than one. You should also like nothing do else. That. Europe, Don't guys. you want one of these? Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, very nice. So this is a. Uh, it's very impressive. Uh, I have to say. Let's see uh, what else they got to say for this robot. So I'm gonna scroll down here. Hi, we're Sphero. Yes, you are. Our mission is to inspire the creators of tomorrow, and we've been making robots to do exactly that for eight years. Has it been eight years already? From the favorite movie characters to bots. Ooh, movie characters. Movie characters. <laughs> I'm a sucker for R2. Uh, let's see here. So, meet Rover RVR. The go anywhere, do anything programmable robot. All terrain, high torque robot. It's drivable and programmable right out of the box. Packed with a diverse suite of sensors to build upon. Our tried and true Sphero EDU app. The app is all right. Precise and accurate driving goes where it goes. Very nice. Like I said, very nice presentation. It's exciting. I think what stuck out to me. Okay, it is a great looking robot, right? So it's a nice, clean looking inter uh, platform. And uh, it's got that built in inherent ability to add additional uh, attachments uh, or let's look at that more you can attach and run third-party hardware like raspberry pi b uh, micro bit and arduino yeah that's sweet and if you remember in that video it looked like they it was really easy to do so um what can you do with rover a lot the only limit is your imagination yeah Everybody says that. Let's see here. Let's keep looking above and beyond control system. Yeah, the control system is interesting. Off the shelf, build a bot or do it yourself tank. Yeah. Okay. Uh, tech overview. Let's take a look at this guy. Rover is a professional level robot at an entry level price. With this robot, we let you connect at the exact same level we connect to it uh, through UART, through our actual binary protocol that we send. So you can do really anything you want. If you want to make something that just drives from here to here, it drives straight, it drives well, you just call a single command and it's done. And at the same time, we get to expose something really low level. Yeah, I love the clean design. SDKs, not only for Raspberry Pi, Microbit, but as well as Arduino. And eventually, we're going to have open SDKs for iOS 
Android, maybe even uh, Windows or Mac OS. Well, that's really nice. I think the sound's kind of off on this video, but um, so far, it's really impressive. And I think they're they're trying to get these robots out there. Who the early special was ninety nine dollars. That's really impressive. One ninety nine or more. Spirit are over plus free mini. I think what. Yeah, the, the ability to be able to, well, like right there, that is a nice clean interface. You're able to create your own uh, custom creations using Arduino, Microbit, Raspberry Pi, and attach them to the robot. So let's see. Uh, Rover furthers our mission to engage more students and teachers. Okay, that's a good line. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did find this video. Let's watch this. This is going to be good. I think this kind of goes more into dissects the robot and um, will give us a nice inside view. Oh yeah. I love the design. It looks reminds me of Tron a little bit. You know, the new, the remake. Big fan. There we go. There's the four-pin UART port. So that's what that will allow us to connect our uh, other mad scientist creations on this guy. Ambient light sensor. Hmm. They have a custom PCB, of course. Uh, I wonder how many infrared sensors they have on this guy. It looked like it looked like it was creating a swarming effect with the other robots. So it's going to be interesting. So you must have infrared sensors all around. And I like the fact that the battery is nice, uh, easily re removable, and it's a rechargeable battery. That's kind of nice. But I bet you they're going to charge you extra for additional batteries. <laughs> You're going to get one, and that's it. Let's see, include a battery key. All right. Get a new battery for $89.95. Gosh, I hope not. <laughs> RGB sensors. Okay, there. We're gonna, so these RGB sensors, or sensors under here are gonna be like your spectrophotometer, reading those, recognizing those colors. Hypergrip. Okay. Mounting plate. Okay. Okay. Many LEDs. Beautiful presentation. That is a nice-looking robot. Okay, well, that's really cool. Hmm. So we got a fully customizable. Okay, we know that. Packed with sensors. I'm kind of sold on this robot already. I think um, I think they're aiming for October release. Um, maybe I will back this project too. Universally compatible. Virtually unstoppable. Yeah. Okay. All right, here are all the pieces. Okay, so this is what I wanted to see too. So it looks like it supports the blockly like uh, programming interface. So for, if you guys are not familiar, if you haven't seen my episodes, so many of these of today's STEM robots feature a block-based uh, development platform. It's nice to see. Okay, so they're staying very um, industry standard. So yeah. This is um, this seems to be a keeper. I'm excited to see where they take this. I think it's going to be launched uh, with great success. It looks like they raised already more than they expected. Seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. I think they're aiming for one hundred fifty. What was it? Something like that. So, yeah. Well, thank you everybody for joining me here. Uh, this was a. Uh, I wanted to share this moment with you. Um, I saw it, it looked exciting. So we used to do a Pioneer Tuesday segment on this show uh, featuring newer companies trying to get their uh, robotic projects funded. And I uh, haven't done one of those episodes in a while, but um, this is exciting. So Rover, everybody, uh, by Sphero, exciting. All right, so until next time, thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe, 
and I'll see you guys soon. Hey everyone, thank you for watching today's show. And as a token of my appreciation, I'm going to give away a BB-8 2200 milliamp power bank you can use to charge your phone, your tablet, to one person. Uh, and if you want to win one of these, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'm going to pick my favorite comment. You can, it can be about the show, this show or any other show that I've uh, uh, recorded. And uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm going to pick my favorite comment and I'll award that individual one of these 2200 milliamp power banks. If you don't win for this episode, don't despair. I'm giving away a few of these in the next few episodes. Uh, but if you want to win one, you're going to have to leave your comment. So go ahead and leave your comments. Uh, and if you enjoyed the show, please feel free to share it with your friends or family. Uh, click the like button if you enjoyed it. Click the dislike button if you don't like it. I uh, love feedback and um, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Again, thank you for watching the show. Until next time.